Hi, I'm Bill Griffith. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the iPad Pro as your primary computer. All right, so now <clears throat> I search for IBM Cloud, and now I'm using my finger to select. And so now I need to log in. So now my cookie kept track of uh, my previous login. So I'm going to go to the catalog. I'm going to click virtual servers with my finger. <clears throat> and then you see the choices I have here, right? Pay uh, hourly so I can turn this on and uh, turn it off. And here's the uh, choices. Uh, so you figure 25 bucks a month times 12 months, about $300 a year if you wanted to keep it on uh, all the time. And then you can remote desktop in, you know, as you need. So I click the create button. And so now I can uh, specify the host name. I can choose my location. I'm just going to choose Dallas. You see there's a lot of different data centers uh, in Dallas. If I'm in Europe, uh, likewise, I can choose whichever city I want, which is really good uh, to keep uh, you know, my data and my server uh, in those locations. East Coast. So I'm just going to choose Dallas. Let's choose Dallas 10. And then uh, different flavors I can choose from, memory, compute, etc. But I'll just go with the, uh, the uh, popular, this uh, one virtual CPU at uh, almost three cents an hour. Is that right? Yeah, three cents an hour. Um, and then I'll choose, you know, what kind of operating system you want. Choose that, Debian, Red Hat, Enterprise. Uh, but I'm going to choose Microsoft. 2016 you can add SSH keys VPN all that stuff that we'll add <clears throat> at a later point in time you can set up your databases and, and things like that uh, so Microsoft uh, needs a little bit more data so I'm gonna put a hundred gigs and then you can choose your network speed uh, you know uh, in uh, public uh, just use the cheaper one for this um, IP6, public bandwidth, firewalls, etc. So over here you see my estimated cost, boot disk, network interface, etc. Then I click a provision button with my finger from my iPad Pro and now it's going to kick off uh, the provisioning job. So now uh, here's the new server. And so this will take a, a few minutes, and then uh, we'll come back and look at it. All right, so I just got an email that my server was provisioned. So I'm going to click up here on the hamburger stack, go to the infrastructure tab, and see that my virtual server is up. So over here on devices, do device list. And... Here's my server. I'm going to select its IP address using the pencil here and copy that. I'm going to drill into it, get the uh, admin password. All right, so it's connect. It's, uh, it's up. Let's uh, jump over here to remote desktop client for Microsoft. I'm going to do a desktop. I'm going to paste in that IP address I just copied. Do done, and then I'm gonna jump back over here into my browser. I'm gonna get the password for the admin account to my Windows machine. Here's the username administrator, and it generated a password for me. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna jump back over. Oh, back over to here. All right. So now I'm going to add a user account administrator. And I'm going to paste in the password that I just copied and do save. And then I'm going to do save and let it connect. So now it's remote desktoping in from my iPad to the Windows 2016 server on IBM Cloud. So now it's logged in. I can go over here and click the Windows icon. And let's go to uh, File Explorer. Let's see the. Oh, there we go. 
So now I can do this PC and I hold it down. Nope, that's it. There you go. Hold it down. Hit the properties. And that matches up. A Xeon E5. Um, one gigabyte of RAM. 64-bit processor. Um, and I got one core there, virtual core. So, there you have it. I'm in. Now I can use this just like, you know, pull up my... Uh, Let's see here, if I search, or search here for um, notepad. I'm using the keyboard now to type on my iPad. So, hello world. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.